Hello everyone, welcome to my video, Nilanjana's exclusive English lessons. This is Nilanjana Sarkar, your English language teacher. And today I'm going to give you a complete practice of your entire grammar portion for CBSC board exam 2023. So here you're going to have all the grammar practice where you can get practice about error detection, omission, the verb forms, reported speech, and many more. So please stay tuned, watch the complete video till the end because this is going to be a complete package of entire grammar revision. So are you all with me? If you are with me, do type in the comments and without wasting much time, let's get started. So the first one that you can see from here is the first exercise that we can see over here is it is error detection. The moment you see the word correct, incorrect, you can see that it is error detection. Matlab, aapko ye paragraph padna hai aur aapko samajna hai ki har line mein koi na koi error hai. So kya error hai? That's what we are going to find out. Okay. Now, what is the trick? How do we go about solving error detection passages? Now, very easy concept. The only thing that you have to do is you have to read the entire passage and understand the meaning. Agar aapko meaning samaj mein aa gaya ki passage mein kya bola gaya hai, it will be very easy for you. Like you can just, you know, do it within a second. Ki kya missing hai. And my dear students, most of the time, I will give you a trick. Most of the time, missing ye hoga ki preposition, ya to koi verb, or maybe a wrong so most of the time, kya missing hoga? Either it could be a verb or a preposition or even an article. So yes, sab concepts agar aapko clear hai, so immediately aapko malum pad jayega ki kya error hai. So chalo, we let's begin. One morning, I finished one business at the bank and was returning in, pick up my motorbike, which I had left in the parking lot outside. Let's take the first sentence. One morning, I finished one business at the bank. Ye kya hai? Yes, koi, you know, I don't think so. Yes, koi baat hota hai. So the mistake is one business. So one morning when you are going, it will be your business, right? So one morning I finished my business at the bank. So the error is my. The correct word is my. And was returning in pickup. Matlab, you are returning. But why are you returning? So here the preposition in is wrong and the correct would be to, to pick up my motorbike, which I had left in the parking lot outside. Suddenly he realized that now you are started, you have started the passage with I and suddenly from where you got this third person pronoun. So what would be the correct answer? Suddenly I realized that I had lost the bike key. Okay, you have lost the bike key. Now what? Upset, I searched about it in the bank. I searched about it. Again, this is a mistake. When you search, you search for something. I searched for it in the bank. So the correct word is for. A bank employee tried to help me find it and in vain. Matlab, somebody has tried to help you. But however, you did not succeed in finding it. So matlab, here, there is a contrasting idea. Somebody tried to help you, but you couldn't find it. So here, the conjunction and is wrong. So the correct word is but. Okay. So this is how you are going to solve the passage. All right. So how, let me now write out the answers clearly for you. The first one is one morning I finished my business. The second one is I realized. The third one is for it and the fourth one is but in vain so this is how we have to solve the passage and please remember that incorrect wherever you get the incorrect play, place you know the blank you also have to write the incorrect word and then you get the correct word so it's like side by side ek jagah aapko incorrect likhna hai aur side by side aapko correct bhi likhna hai remember ki for the complete thing, then only you get the full marks. If you incorrect or uh, correct, nahi likhoge, then you get half marks. So remember to do the complete thing. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. The next question that we are going to do is reported speech. Now, reported speech, we have to read the passage again. And here the blanks are given. And you have to write the 
specific word in reported speech. Okay, so let's begin. Dilip, I have been watching the sea and there hasn't been any trace of a ship. So Dilip said that I have been watching. So I ban jayega. He have been will be had been. Like in reported speech, I hope you all know that everything goes to past tense. Whatever you are telling, it is reported by someone else. So everything moves back to past tense. So have been watching is present perfect continuous. You have to change it to past perfect continuous. And that there hasn't been any trace of a ship. So here any trace of a, of a ship is already given. So you have to just change this part. So hasn't been kya ho jayega? Hadn't been. Okay. Rohan, I told you yesterday too that we'll be rescued. So have patience. Rohan replied that I told you yesterday. So how do we change this? He, I ban jayega. He told you. Again, told you is in simple past. So usko aur bhi piche humko lena hai. You know, this is past perfect tense we have to change. So he had told him yesterday. Yesterday ko kya banayenge hum? The previous day. He had told him the previous day and asked him that they will be rescued. So will be rescued will be what? Will, will is we apostrophe and the it's a contracted word. It's the short form of we will. So here we will would become would. That they would be rescued and asked him to have patience. Okay, so chalo, hum log lik lete hai abhi. Clearly, Dilip said that he had been watching the sea and that there hadn't been, hasn't been ban gaya, hadn't been. Ro Rohan replied that he had told him the day before yesterday ban gaya apna the day before you can also write previous day that they would be rescued that they would so will ho gaya would it's a modal verb and asked him to have patience clear till here okay let's move on to the next part dilip why do you ask me to keep quiet whenever i say something so dilip angrily asks rohan why do you ask me to keep quiet whenever I say something? Now, this is an interrogative sentence. And yes, you have to remember the rules of changing an interrogative sentence. So, Dilip angrily asked Rohan, why? Yape, wherever the question begins with why, we have to begin with the same. So, this is how we will change the interrogative question. Why? He asked him to be quiet whenever he said something to which Rohan wanted to know, have you ever said anything sensible? So to which Rohan wanted to know. Now here the question begins with have. So we have to begin the reported speech with if or whether. You can use any. If he had ever said anything sensible. So this is how you will change the reported conversation. And if you do it in this way, my dear students, you will get full marks. Okay, but yes, you for this, you have to clear your concept about tenses. And yes, there is a complete course on tenses on my channel. You can just go and get yourself enrolled. But right now, you have to listen to the entire video. Don't rush. Of course, at the end, you can go and check out that. All right. So let's move on. Okay, my dear students, the next question that we are going to solve today is omission. What is omission? Omission is a kind of exercise, integrated grammar exercise, where one grammar component is missing in the sentence. Like, for example, you know, in order to sound grammatically correct, everything has to be particular in a sentence, right? Aapko verb barabar hona chahiye. The preposition has to be there. So in order to convey a complete meaning of the sentence, in order to have clarity in your sentence, the sentence has to be grammatically correct. Or agar aap koi bhi grammar element ko, if you omit, then the sentence is grammatically wrong. So in this exercise, you have to understand which is the word which is missing. And yes, we are going to do it very quickly. All right. So here also the trick is you have to read the passage. Without reading the passage and understanding, you will not be able to find the element, the grammatical component which is missing. So let's begin. A large part, India's population. Matlab, I'm telling large part, large part of India's population. So the missing word is of. Remember, 
आपको बिफोर भी लिखना है आफ्टर मतलब यू हैव टू पुट द वर्ड बिफोर विच इज पार्ट एंड आफ्टर वर्ड इज इंडिया ओके अगेन हियर इफ यू राइट द कंप्लीट थिंग देन ओनली यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया पॉपुलेशन इज इलिटरेट चलो हो गया इलिटरेसी इज बिगेस्ट इवेल हियर आई हैव अपरलेटिव एब्जेक्टिव तो सुपरलेटिव एब्जेक्टिव जब होता है वॉट इज मैंडेटरी थिंग दैट शुड कम बिफोर इट Yes, you have to write the article. The so illiteracy is the biggest evil of the Indian society. Chalo, even this sentence is done. Next one, removal illiteracy. Removal illiteracy means what? Iska koi you know there's no meaning for this. So removal of illiteracy is necessary and all round development is necessary and all. What is the connection between those these two things? So it is necessary. for an all round development of the country so yes we are done with our omission let's begin the next question in this you have to complete the paragraph using the correct options recent heavy rains last chennai throwing normal life out of gear the city scene so of course scene will not come because scene is verb 3 third form of the verb or is usually in perfect tense we have um we usually use this but here nothing is written has is also not there uh, the helping verb is not there so we cannot go with this the city saw yes this is the correct answer the city saw the rest two options we cannot go because it is in present tense okay this is wrong absolutely because chalo present tense bhi ho gaya to it should be sees and we cannot choose sees because the if you see the passage begins with past tense so here is you have to be very particular about what is the tense of the passage accordingly you have to choose the option so the correct answer is saw the city saw severe water logging and people wading many volunteers in their respective areas carry carrying carried again we will go with the past tense carried out the relief activities matlab they did they helped the people with the relief activities in anya satya nagar food packets were was did have chalo why we can't choose was because packets say packets is plural so was is singular verb so of course we can't go food packets did distributed aisa to koi grammar structure ho hi nahi sakta did distributed food packets have distributed food packets to obviously have distributed is also wrong so obviously we will go with the first option food packets were distributed okay so yes we are also done with this question now we move on to the next question go on to the next question again this is a conversation and it is in reported speech as you see complete um, and report report the following dialogue you have to understand that it is reported speech and yes my dear students reported speech will come for the exam so please practice and try to remember all the rules lady what a beautiful painting is it for sale shopkeeper no ma'am this painting is not for sale so the lady exclaimed with appreciation exclaimed with appreciation what did she exclaim that it was a very beautiful painting so the lady exclaimed with appreciation that it was a very beautiful painting now it is an exclamatory sentence right it ends with an exclamation mark so you have to use the use the adverb very matlab bahut sundar hai ye painting it was a very beautiful painting and inquired the shopkeeper what did she inquire the shopkeeper is it for sale so how will you report the question was and inquired the shopkeeper so how do we report the question again it begins with a helping verb so it is a yes or a no question so agar yes or no question hai how do we start we start with if or whether if you remember abhi humne aisa ek question kiya and inquired the shopkeeper if it was for sale ho gaya okay so this is how you report a question the shopkeeper no ma'am this painting is not for sale the shopkeeper answered in the negative now you see that this part is already done no ma'am when you get no ma'am you're writing answered in the negative matlab aapko ye yaad rakhna hai ki any time you report a yes or a no this is how you have to write answered in the negative agar yes say answered in the positive just remember and yes it will be very easy informing the lady that that painting was not for sale 
that painting was not for sale. So we are done with the grammar questions. And yes, this is the complete practice of your integrated grammar exercise for CBSE 2023. And if you practice in this way, if you solve the questions, these are the probable questions which will come. Detection, omission, reported speech, and verb forms. If you do it, yes, you will be scoring full marks. Okay. So that was all from me today. And my dear students, as I always tell you, it's not difficult to get full marks in your exam. It's really not difficult to score above 90% in your exam. So just give your best shot. Only two months left. And I know all of you will do amazingly well. And if you need more practice papers like this, please do let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to teach you. And if you think this video has helped you, do not hesitate to subscribe, share it with your friends. This is my only reward. Thank you so much. Study well and take care. Bye.